Welcome back, everybody. This is Night Flight. I'm Judith Koba, and today Mark Ray is here, and uh, very happy to see him. Yeah, his website is Freedom UFO. So he also has a channel on um, YouTube, Odyssey. Are you on BitChute? Uh, no, I'm on the Odyssey. Uh, I have two channels on Odyssey, one on, on Rumble, one on, on BitChute, and uh, two backup channels on on YouTube where I only put up uh, teasers. <laughs> yeah, and, and, okay. And, you know, I list all the links going back to the uh, the, the, the full interviews on, on the other platforms. And yeah. Brightian as well, and Crowdbunker. Crowdbunker is another one. Mm -hmm. So um, everywhere, okay. but on YouTube, you can see my 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 work in in, in full <laughs> full disclosure. Yeah. I, when I look at your background, you have the same weather that we have. <laughs> no, it right, has it's... been raining and raining today. The only thing that is different, it's not that windy here. But uh, other than that, it looks exactly the same. One what? gray blanket. <laughs> yeah, it's the same outside, but it's actually a video on on my green um, you know, ah, okay. green screen, <laughs> green screen. But it's the same weather outside, actually. So <laughs> in Normandy, <laughs> so, yeah, it's a green screen. Yeah. I'm not like NASA. I I tell people that I have a green screen behind me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, Mark, um, you are my neighbor in France, and. Uh, especially Europe has an interesting winter ahead of them. And I, the, the, we briefly talked before we started recording. I have to say, I, I, I feel as if I'm living in an open air asylum. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you have those moments? Yeah, uh, I've, I've been having those moments for the past three years every day. Every day I, I go out, every day I, I, I look at the mainstream news I, I talked to people i thought were uh smart around me that are started to say total dumbasses uh to still believe the propaganda for the past three years and and keep following the stupid orders you know cut down your energy um consumption and buy an electric car for example uh you know or uh you know go vote for this this candidate and he'll save uh, he'll save the world and uh, and we, we see we've had since last time we talked I think uh, when was it months ago uh, we've had a presidential election afterwards or before I forgot and um, afterwards yeah I know afterwards. that something has shifted in France because all of a sudden uh, they declared the end of the pandemic and I don't think that was uh, Macron's game plan. No, and they're still talking about it. Um, there's no mask mandate except for uh, medical uh, establishments. Uh, well, you know, pharmacies who want to uh, ask you request a mask to get in. Um, well, I had my own episode in in this summer because I, for the first time in poof, two years, I went into a pharmacy and I forgot that they were. Uh, you know, uh, allowed to request a mask from you, so I didn't wear a mask. It turned it turned into some kind of a pulp fiction friction uh, episode, uh, and I left because I, I think I was gonna you know burst out in uh, uh, anger in there, and I, I preferred to leave the place. It's like who are you, those dumb people? Um, and and uh, but in hospitals and clinics and so forth, you can you can request that, but you're not allowed to request a health pass to get in or your vaccine record anymore since the august 1st uh but the the medical personnel is still not allowed to work um firefighters okay. are not allowed to work and extinguish fires who have uh, that have been rampant all over france this summer and there's still uh, two major ones uh, in lacano and in in the bordeaux region where they want to build a, a big um, solar uh, power plant uh, and have a 1 billion euro project there. And everywhere it's been burning down, you know, forest fires all over the, the, the place. There's a project going on, just like in California and in other countries. Uh, and I, um, my last project, actually, I released a movie about geoengineering, the uh, uh, summer um, the summer forest fires in France and, and all over, actually, called Vulcan's Summer, the L'été de Vulcan, because Macron on July 14th, in an interview, uh, officially said he would like to be called, named 
uh, after Vulcan. Vulcan, you know who Vulcan is, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and well, the Vul yeah, Spock as well. Uh, but <laughs> he was a, a god as well, and uh, you know, a god for the uh, the forge and uh, and so forth. So, and prior to that, he he wanted to be named after Jupiter. So we're in the uh, you know Jupiter ascending movie on one hand, and the Vulcan in Star Trek on the other hand. <laughs> so the guy is crazy, and all the forest fires uh, uh, started off uh, afterwards, uh, and and the Notre Dame fire was also totally awkward and was the um the ritual the first ritual with fire that they set off uh for their 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 big program going on afterwards so it was a uh, it was a major uh, ritual and uh the um the the center point of all of the french roads um were attached to uh that little um uh, symbol a sigil in front of the cathedral, and it was moved about 800 meters afterwards to another uh, church, to a different church, which was a Jesuit church, actually. So it was mm -hmm. no no more Notre Dame, who was the geophysical center for all the roads of France. You know, it's, it's just a, uh, what do you call it, a, a, like a, a radiostatic, uh, how would I call it? Uh, the ley lines crossover of France was in front of Notre Dame. So uh, that, that's why I'm saying it's important. That, that's why they started this fire uh, in Notre Dame. And afterward, he, you know, he wanted, you know, he wanted people to call him Vulcan. In this the, 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 wait, wait a minute. Um, uh, Macron said he wanted to be called a Vulcan. Vulcan, right. After the god Vulcan, because be, before, prior to it, uh, well, I would like, you know, I identify myself to Jupiter. Since the beginning of his, you know, his uh, presidency, mm -hmm. and now they ask him, "Do you want to be called? You still want to be called Jupiter?" And he said, "No, I prefer to be called Vulcan." So my movie was, you know, the start of the the basis for this movie is that he is totally in cahoot with the big geoengineering teams, uh, and the climate weapons, uh, uh, you know, are have been used all over with drones, with energy directed uh, weapons direct energy weapons uh, and those drones that uh, are dropping um, you know there's like a flame th uh, thrower kind of drones and there's also those the, they, they drop those uh, what do you call the phosphor uh, phosphorus phosphorescent uh, balls that uh, uh, catch on fire when they hit the ground so they they can burn mm -hmm. uh, and and in the, the counter, yeah so the the, the counter fires are the the pretext to say well we're using those drones it's just to uh, to cut to stop the fire. <laughs> it, it, you know, it, instead of that, they, uh, they 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 set fire everywhere they want to. They they intend to. The Brocilion uh, uh, forest in Brittany, for example, there's there's never been any fire there. There's a big uh, military base um, in Brocilion, which is in Brittany. You know the the, the famous uh, Arthur, Arthur Arthurian legends with the the knights of the, the Round Table and and uh, you know Arthur and uh, and Merlin and and so and so forth that you know that took place over there, and mm. but they want to build a solar plant as well uh, on the on the military base and part of the forest is a military base, <laughs> so and there's 52 bases in France where they have uh, a solar projects. And so, um, you know, I haven't checked on all the other ones if they caught on fire <laughs> by mm. mistake, uh, you know, next to it. But uh, I think that's part of the plan. So forest fires uh, in the movie, I, I showed the, the geoengineering link, links, connections with the with who? With the, the World Health Organization, uh, Big Pharma, et cetera, et cetera, uh, because they, uh, I noticed that the... Um, uh, after each hurricane, for example, in Haiti, in the, in the Mozambique, in the, in other parts of the world, who was right there? Bill Gates even gave millions of dollars to the health minister on site to launch a, a vaccination campaign and so forth. And after each climate event, and they can trigger any climate event they want. <laughs> so yeah. that's why I, I I showed the connections between big pharma and um, and uh, geoengineering. Bill Gates has funded geoengineering projects. You know the the the, the sun dimming uh, campaign uh, approved by Harvard. Uh, uh, Bill Gates in it, is in in it. You know he put he put up a lot of money in it. So he put up a lot of money 
in in pharma, the pharma world, to vaccinate, to to inject everybody with its poisons and also uh, dim the skies, the sun. So without without the sun, we you know nothing nothing grows. So they can they'll be able to sell um, uh, and force the uh, the consumption and the use usage of of uh, Monsanto seeds and, and so forth and, and GMOs and and all their crap which are poisons as well. Mm. Nothing will be able to be to be grown. So that's 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 a big movie. Well, it, it lasted uh, one hour and fifty three minutes, I think. So I wanted to do it much shorter, but I, you know, I came across so much information, uh, and, and especially in France. Well, uh, the firefighters, you know, uh, they called on foreign firefighters to put off the fires in France and fired prior to the fires over five thousand firefighters, French fi fi uh, unvaccinated French fire firefighters in France. So they called on some or vaccinated or not. From foreign countries to help, you mm. know, uh, you know, put down the, the fires, put off the fires, but the French ones weren't able to work, and and most and some of them are volunteer. <laughs> so <laughs> as long as as they are coming from a foreign country, it doesn't count. Right, exactly. Okay. Bulgarians, uh, uh, Swedish, um, I forgot which, you know, what other nations came here. Maybe even Germans, I think, as well. Mm. To, um... Yeah, I'm. I'm amazed that uh, they are putting so much, uh, so much effort into uh, solar power. Because one thing is pretty clear by now that you cannot and you will never uh, be able to power an industrial nation with renewables. It's simply not possible because it is very volatile meaning mm -hmm. there's no wind you have no power there's no sun you have no power and then there are days where <clears throat> um a lot of the uh, wind and uh, solar power gets cut off out of the grid simply because they have too much and in that specific moment they did it is not needed because the electricity that we use right now has to be produced right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, th that is something that a lot of people do not understand. We have no storage capacities for that. So building more and more uh, windcraft facilities and building more and more solar panels and that it doesn't solve the problem why is it so hard to understand and even you know let's say the grid goes down completely mm -hmm. you can never restart with renewables it is as if you have the candle but you unfortunately do not have a lighter mm -hmm. you need something like gas coal or whatever it might be to restart the grid again so why is everybody still beating that dead horse because propaganda um yeah propaganda uh, and i'm telling you what they can use with the solar power energy as a uh, a blackmail uh, weapon is EMS. EMS is electromagnetic frequencies. They can shut down the whole grid altogether, even yeah. even more easily. Yeah, it's a weapon, and they blame it on the sun. So it's uh, it's just total nonsense. But it it's still based on upon inversion. You know, inverted uh, facts. It's it's your fault. You're gonna pay for it. Uh, you're going to be taxed for it, and uh, you you're going to have to uh, need a you're going to need a, a a pass after the health pass. It's going to be a a a, a climate a climate pass, and it's all part of the, the social credit you like the Chinese uh, have put together. And the Chinese is their big laboratory, uh, it's their big lab, uh, and uh, it's a pilot country for them. And mm -hmm. Spain, and I showed it in my movie. Spain was the pilot country for um, drying up. Uh, large areas and and uh, making people well blackmailing people for access to water 
even rainwater there's a big affair in the in the region of spain where well actually you know some some a company was uh well well i guess you know she was it was sued but they jailed people because they uh they didn't pay to access the you know getting their own rainwater collected collecting water it's just crazy <laughs> it's it's the pilot country for drying up large areas of of of, of land uh, uh spain is it's also done through geoengineering mm -hmm. but, you know yeah. even even firefighters are not interested in talking about geoengineering they don't care and yeah and a lot of studies not a lot but um a couple of studies uh have come out right now and they explain that um the huge windcraft yeah uh, that mm -hmm. these facilities they are pushing the rain clouds away and they are a big factor uh, when it comes to drought. Mm -hmm. So uh, plus they are emitting a, yeah, if you believe in that, that CO2 is, mm -hmm. <laughs> is uh, responsible for global warming, mm -hmm. then in that case, you know, um, these facilities they are ejecting something that is even more harmful um, to the environment <laughs> than uh, CO2. Mm -hmm. And nobody is talking about it. And they build more and more. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah CO2 is, is, is the big, the, uh, another fraud after the viruses, yeah. uh, the pandemics. Uh, I mean, so CO2 is a big fraud. Even a GEC. A uh, former engineer uh, there said, you know, mentioned that we could we could be consuming <laughs> and producing, rejecting twice as much uh, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. It wouldn't it wouldn't change anything about climate. Climate is being changed by by uh, by geoengineering mainly. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. and you know, I'm not afraid to say so because I've I've proven it and I've proved it. In my movie, so with with the list of 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 patents since the 19th century, I think the first one was 18, 18 something, uh, for you know cloud seeding and so forth, and and there has been so many so many patents. You can see it on you can check it out on that on that website called climateviewer.com, climateviewer.com, mm -hmm. and uh, there's so many of them. How how can you even think they're not using any of it? <laughs> that's crazy and even uh thailand uh indonesia and uh, taiwan just just you know closed a deal a few weeks ago to make uh you know to make uh cloud to form well shape up some clouds and make and produce some rain over uh dried up areas in their country that's that's official how can you you know just deny the official deal it was on mainstream tv <laughs> so yeah, people don't even are in denial in front of their propaganda tool when it it doesn't uh, reach their um, their preconceived uh, uh, indoctr indoctrination program. You know when they, they said no, you can't. It's on the, main, the mainstream news, but your program not to believe it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, perception is a very interesting uh, thing. I would yeah. say because um, there was a. Uh, yeah, a scientific test. They had a cat litter in a room and um, the mother was with them. It was not that they were tortured, but what they did, this room had only um, horizontal things in it. There was nothing vertical in it. And after a couple of weeks, they introduced... I guess it was a pole or something. Well, that was vertical. Yeah, and the cats couldn't see it and they all dumped their heads on it. So meaning if something is completely missing mm -hmm. um, from, your, from your own experience, chances are that you don't see it. You can't recognize it. Um, there are also stories with um, when the Spanish came to South America that the indigenous mm -hmm. people didn't see the ships mm -hmm. because they had no point of reference for ships. Later on, yes. But um, so 
a lot of it is really depending of what our mind has been already introduced to. If mm. we can see it or not see it or understand it or not, I mean, you know what I mean? It's a matter of field of perception. And uh, there's also this experiment with, uh, you see uh, a few people walking around in, in the room and behind it, there's a, behind them, there's a, a guy, uh, a, a costume as a, with a gorilla costume, uh, you know, uh, playing with a basketball and and walking behind those people. And most people don't even notice him because mm -hmm. they're programmed to see what's in front of them and not the guy who crosses over. <laughs> so it's another yeah. experiment. It, it does work. Most people don't say, oh, I didn't see the guy uh, costume in the gorilla costume playing with the basketball. That's weird. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> this is, this is nice. I have not been programmed to see yeah. the gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right exactly and 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 then you'll have the monkey pox the the, the money pox <laughs> as a reward mm -hmm. afterwards uh there's still people going for uh the shots for this stupid stupid thing that has never been proven uh just 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 like yeah. the so the eighth the eighth wave um has been going on but you know they everything is based on the on the um adverse effects of of their their shots but they never admit that it's because of their shots that there are new effects and and sudden deaths and myocarditis and and and, and all kinds of uh, uh, um you know diseases uh and, and adverse effects uh by by zillions as more and more people dying um so you know they're in total denial even of, about their own lives their own children their own parents their own family members and their own jobs and their own survival uh, the means of survival they're ready to quit their job uh um if they they tell them oh well there's one COVID case in in this uh, factory where it's 500 workers uh, so we're closing down uh, okay yes <laughs> yes sir <laughs> it's, it's for the for the the better uh, health collective it's for the collective so it's it's so stupid i mean it's come down to so much dumbing down um uh, uh the dumbing down of, of the masses but i don't know if they they may have been dumb their whole life i think they have been uh and for for the past three years it's just it's just it's just so obvious, you know, like when you used to talk to them about, oh, um, 9 11 may be an, an inside job. Ah, you're a stupid uh, th uh, uh, a conspiracy theorist. And and uh, no, I'm a critical thinker. No, you know, you, know, you don't have any critical thoughts. You have to listen to government. Uh, so it's it's the same thing with with um, big pharma. Big pharma, what, what does pharmakia in Greek mean? Pharmacy. Uh, and uh, and most people are uh, still under pharmakia's spell. The word pharmakia is defined as the use of medicines, drugs, or spells. Mm -hmm. Synonyms of pharmakia is witchcraft, magic, enchantment, spell, poisoning. It's a fact that witchcraft and, and magic in the ancient Greek world often involved the use of drugs, either by the witch uh, or by the person who on whom the magic was performed. So it's all about magic. You know, when you see people that are so uh, um, uh, so uh, obsessed with following uh, stupid orders and telling you to go commit suicide and go poison yourself, you know, it's just, it's for your own good. It's going to save yourself. It's possession. Uh, it's nothing else but possession. They're all possessed. You cannot even – some people you can't talk to. Most of them you can't. Uh, you can't. So you just don't. <laughs> you quit <laughs> arguing. But, I mean, they're, you know, they're, they're dragging us with – themselves along with themselves with this, this stupid government into chaos because it's the uh, it's an end cycle i i, I firmly believe it mm. it's an end cycle period and uh, the elites know that they're gonna just you know uh, one day well soon everything is gonna crash and they're gonna they, they want to organize the crash set up the whole crash themselves and drag us uh, drag us in, in, in into chaos uh, uh total chaos because they uh if they are um if their uh, if their misdeeds uh, and and uh, and uh, evil programs are being unveiled to the masses, they're they're pretty much dead. You know they won't survive because it will go retro retroactively in the past with each uh, each you know conspiracy uh, 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 plan that they've, they've done and against the populations. And but I don't think it's going to happen because the NPCs, the non-player characters, will follow anything. 
uh, to the death, to their death, to our death, and they don't care about anything. But following is just like they feel like like human show actors, you know. They're because after three years, if you haven't noticed anything fishy, I mean, you're part of the the Truman Show yourself. You're an actor. You're an yeah. actor. <laughs> Do you think that uh, things might change now that it is affecting people's wallets and they really feel the pain? in terms of, uh, you know, paying the bills and, um, yeah. In Scotland, <laughs> in Scotland and in Italy, I've seen people demonstrating, burning, you know, setting fire, uh, their electric bills and so forth in front of the parliament. And mm -hmm. so that's good. Well, some people are reacting, but look, during the, the pandemics in Berlin, uh, there were the biggest demonstrations in the world you know, yeah, there are know millions of people on the street so mm -hmm. what came out of it since then not much you know mm. that's the thing well uh you know me and in, in normandy last uh not this summer the, the past summer i went to a few demonstrations at the beginning they were we were like in Rouen. it's a it's not a huge city in france but it, it, it's in normandy uh and uh Rouen, that's where uh joan of arc was uh spermed out supposedly joan of arc or maybe it was somebody else you know with with a hood on uh anyway uh was burned out and uh we were 4700 the first uh the first week and afterwards it you know, went down well less people less people in september whoo, a few hundred i stopped going but i mean you know they get they get us through i mean time is on their their side that's what i'm saying you know mm -hmm. they're buying time to put off any violent reaction they, they they put off so much control opposition on telegram there are groups there's like one fake firefighter who's uh, being setting up a demonstration today and tomorrow and uh you know i joined their group because uh you know somebody sent me the link well i'm gonna check it out you know uh and uh i i i shared the link to my movie Vulcan's summer. I talked for maybe a half hour about firefighters, forest fires. You know why there are fires? Geoengineer. Yeah, I, I I got banned from the group right away. They the guy and I went to see check out his profile on Facebook. Oh, wow, what are his likes? Um, one French politician who's another Freemason, and uh, one uh, um, what's it called? Uh, Army Corps something. That guy's a military. He doesn't even have his real photo. He has he has a, a firefighter helmet. That's all he has. It's a, a, an insider. It's it's an agent from the, the government who's there as control opposition to say, okay, I'm going to drag all the, the firefighters who have been uh, uh, suspended, who cannot uh, work and so forth. I'm going to, you know, drag them just, it's, everything is like this. So people who are real, um, uh, who are really fight the system, they're, they're, uh, they are dragged by some uh, control uh, opposition agents into movements that will lead nowhere and, it, and nothing changes. You know, it's not it's not about uh, gathering a big amount of people. What do you, what do you do with them? And who does the gathering? Who can set up and organize so much gathering and have has so much exposition uh, on the alternative media in order to uh, get to all the people? I, I I'm not. You know, I wouldn't be able to because I'm not an agent. But an agent, wow, he just he's there. Okay, I'm here. <gasps> Millions of people come. <laughs> oh wow, that's great. But no, it's all control opposition. It's so obvious, and the way yeah. they they react to anything. You can't talk geoengineering. You can't talk agenda 2030. You can't. You know, uh, satanism. Yeah. Forget about it. No, nothing. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> you just. Yeah, uh, because, uh, I'm not on Telegram because I don't have a cell phone. Right. <laughs> and um, yeah, but I, I had for a long time mixed feelings about Telegram. Mm. And I'm I'm not against a, a platform where you can discuss without being molested. Don't get me wrong. Um, but that what you just described, um, uh, I think that is... Uh, going on a lot more than uh, people would consider. It's not automatically, uh, oh, he's on Telegram. <laughs> it must be a true freedom fighter here. Mm. And um, also what I think, um, what better way to have them all assembled on one platform and monitor the situation? You know what I mean? Mm. 
Mm. Absolutely. It's it's the it's the scheme behind Odyssey. Who bought uh, bought out Odyssey in 2015? Microsoft. Microsoft mm. is Bill Gates. Mm. You know, whenever all the conspiracy uh, uh, and fire uh, and freedom fighters are on Odyssey, uh, and he wants to unplug everybody from the wall, he can because it's Bill Gates. He's behind mm. Odyssey, so mm. he's she's a you know made made the main shareholder of Odyssey. So um, you know, which is very convenient today because because I found some of my lost. Uh, censored YouTube videos um, that were synchronized with my Odyssey channel. So, oh, whew, thank God, they're on Odyssey. But until when? <laughs> so, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, uh, what we have also seen um, in France this summer uh, was that a lot of nuclear plants had to be switched off. Some of it was certainly due to the drought. But what would you say? Is there also something going on that they need high maintenance uh, urgently? And uh, so what else is going on? What, what are you observing? Well, these two, I think they're, 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 it's a twofold agenda. Well, it's some of them, most of them are very old and they need maintenance. Mm. Um, I think they shut down Fessenheim uh, near Germany, I think. Um, and uh, but it's also a, a pretext, it's a pretext for uh, an excuse, a motive, uh, an alibi to um, to declare scarcity of energy, you know, energy scarcity. So, so you're gonna have to restrain, uh, well, uh, you know, uh, consume less energy. So, they started already to. Shut, shut off the lights uh, at some monuments in Paris in the big cities to uh, <laughs> to preserve the energy uh, uh, the energy capacity of our uh, power plants and so forth. But it's all bullshit. It's all we know. It's all it's all a game. It's a it's a it's it's the same fraud as with the uh, with the uh, the stupid virus that never existed, never never got isolated. You know, I I did an interview with uh, um, uh, what's her name, uh, Chris, Christine Massey. Uh, Messi, you know, and and uh, maybe you did too. I don't know. In in Canada, who uh, asked all the institutions around the world uh, uh, a sample of the of the isolate, you know, isolation of the the virus, the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Uh, none of them was able to provide anything anything satisfactory, or they said they didn't have it, or they didn't have to put it up, and, you know, put it out and give it to her, or they never had it in their possession. So it doesn't exist. Even Mike Yeadon. I showed him in, in in my video on genuine engineering and, and big pharma. Uh, even Mike Eden, former Pfizer a guy, uh, mentioned in an interview that uh, there was no new respiratory uh, illness or disease out there. So and and that he um, he was um, uh, uh, he was more he was more now a um, uh, a fan of Andrew um, uh, Dr. Kaufman. Uh, view on on the viruses uh, that uh, well that, that don't exist. Uh, it's it's a Rockefeller scam uh, as mm -hmm. well that has been lasting for 158 years since the vaccine was around. So the, the vaccines is a eugenist tool. So eugenistic tool it, it allows to uh, uh, by telling you by inversion inversion this is very satanic. Um, Inversion to cure you, to prevent you from getting ill, but gets you sick in the long run. Well, now very short, uh, in the short run, because they want to eliminate a lot of people, and and want to transmute mm. some can, of them. Can we can we go back to the nuclear plants? Um, yeah. mm -hmm. So what do you uh, what do you see is going on there? Because I understand that uh, France is also talking about shortages and brownouts. Mm -hmm when they uh, mm -hmm. cut off certain areas. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> what is going on there? Yeah, it's, 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 it's a means to um, blackmail the people, the masses, the French, to make mm -hmm. them pay uh, three, four, five times more the electricity bill. And uh, they have those smart meters that they... They they force people to have. I don't have one, so I always fought. I don't have one either. against them. And uh, now they they're they're harassing me every every two months to go, uh, to go tell them the uh, you know the cons my consumption as if they weren't able to for the past twenty thirty years. 
you know, by themselves from their end. We didn't never need it to, to do so. But now, yeah. you know, in order to bug you, okay, you're going to get a, a smart meter called Linky here, uh, you know, so we can do it from, from our side. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. It's, uh, they, they can cut off, uh, cut your electricity off, uh, uh, protecting that, oh, you consume your, uh, I don't know, your, uh, your, your dishwasher, which I never use, uh, or something else consumes too much. So we're going to cut you off or cut down your electricity power. So you're going to have what, two rooms in the house that, that you're able to uh, turn on the lights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or, I mean, it's so stupid. It's just another, uh, it's just like the, the, the vaccine mandate. It's another way. And it's all related to energy. It's, it's very important. Mm -hmm. Energy. We are energy um, plants for them. We, we are power plants. They're energy power plants. See, they, they, it's a loose game. So they're producing loose. Uh, by um, uh, uh, harassing us all the time, you know, torturing us all the time. So in other words, we are dealing with artificial scarcity. Yes, totally. Yeah, totally. Mm. Because uh, here in Germany, it would be um, very easy to solve that, switch on Nord Stream 2, case finished. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Case yeah. closed, and that would be a real game changer. So now... Mm. Um, I hear in the press that uh, France and Germany have uh, promised each other to help each other out with gas. France is going to help Germany with gas and with electricity. And I'm when I'm reading things like that, uh, I, I always ask myself, and where do you get it from? Mm. Where do you get yes. it from? <laughs> oh, every, everything from it comes from Ukraine today. Uh, you know everything, everything mm -hmm. made made in China comes from Ukraine. You know everything. <laughs> it's just nuts. I mean, mustard came from Ukraine because we had a big uh, mustard uh, 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 shortage here. So uh, that was laughable because all the countries, all the other European countries around had mustard, but not France. <laughs> mm. It's it's so ridiculous. I mean, and also I forgot to mention that all this energy based uh, uh, artificial crisis and scarcity uh, program. It, it's also meant to hide uh, free energy uh, 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 solutions uh, that have yeah. been around forever, you know, yeah. since the antiquity and, and uh, antediluvian civilizations were able to do so many things without what we have today, um, you know, from us, from the masses. But the masses don't, you know, NPCs will never look into that. You know, we uh, we we do, but um, they're not interested. So it's very easy to hide it from them. But uh, yeah, um, going back to the energy thing, uh, I forgot what I wanted to add. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, please, yeah, please it doesn't matter. Okay. It will come to you when you don't think about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then it will be there. Yeah. Ping! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I also read today that France is in the process of legalizing euthanasia. Mm. And, you know, okay, I'm not going to dictate to anybody you have to live. I would not recommend it, ending your life yourself. But if that is your wish, then that's your business. Yeah, I, I'm not going to interfere. And, um, but on the other hand, <laughs> I have to say, in a construct, like this that that we are living in and you legalize euthanasia all oh, things could switch so fast and it could become a gateway of eliminating political opponents mm -hmm. oh also yeah yeah but then again uh politics is uh, is uh, is a fool's game because uh, mm -hmm. uh, the major politicians are all Freemasons. They're all part of the club. Otherwise, they don't gain access to a, a higher level of uh, recognition or, or mass uh, exposition. You know, um, they don't reach the masses, and they don't last long in politics. So, it's not so much eliminating political op opponents uh, as it is to get rid of of the uh, useless citizens that they want. They don't want to. Support. That's actually what I meant. Uh, yeah, those yeah. that are stubborn and are not going easily along uh, with the agenda. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, they've done it during the pandemics uh, in the uh, 
in the um, what do you call the 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 the, the house uh, well the the the, uh, the elderly uh, facilities uh, where they they injected rivotril to ease their pain. No, that's the ray homes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where they they ease their ease their pain and and uh, you know sp sped up their their death process, so they died by by thousands, and they never admitted that it was due to the rivotril. Mm. You know to. No, the so jamba juice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, not the beetle juice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So they want to they uh, uh, speed that up. Uh, they should start with themselves, you know, like Jacques mm -hmm. Attali, uh, the Rockefellers, and all. <laughs> they, sh they should start euthanizing uh, themselves first, you know, yeah. in their family. Well, they, sure. the Queen, well, we'll talk about the Queen later on. But... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we can do that. So, uh, yeah, that parasite is gone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I I don't believe in royalty. Never have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's a made up construct to control mm -hmm. and oppress and exploit people. End of story. And mm -hmm. it, it is just we believe in it, and that is why it's functioning. Mm -hmm. And the moment nobody gives a shit about it anymore, and they stop standing there with their little stupid flag. <laughs> the queen um yeah. or whoever it might be yeah then end of story royalty gone yeah yeah i know yeah. well they've been around forever yeah you know, i know and bloodlines and, you know. yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> very interesting subject yeah we so, can talk about it later on so. um i also um there is a development yeah a sidekick seen uh, from the Ukraine mm -hmm. and now uh, Armenia uh, calls for uh, Russian help because Azerbaijan is attacking them and uh, already uh, they have lost more than 90 people mm -hmm. and on the other hand Turkey stands firm with Azerbaijan so now very interesting uh, situation because Armenia is calling for Russia's help in this situation. And in general, Turkey and Russia are on good terms. Turkey made new contracts for uh, gas delivery and what have you. So I think that is another one to watch uh, uh, what will develop there. And, you know, it, it feels as if this world is like the Hindenburg waiting for its spark. <laughs> yeah, a spark to, what do you think, for World War Three, another staged World War, where it's not time yet for a World War Three mm. staged event. Uh, I don't mm. think it's, uh, I don't think they're ready yet. Uh, you know, they had the cyber crash first, mm. the energy crisis, a uh, 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 fake uh, uh, shortage uh, uh, scenario this winter, uh, blackmailing, torturing us more, uh, uh, maybe even social chaos, you know, demonstrations and maybe martial uh, martial law on the street and so forth. And before they they install the uh, install the um, the social credit because that won't work if we have a World War Three event. Uh, you know, uh, that's one question I'm, I've been asking myself for the past few months with uh, what I call Zizinski <laughs> instead of Zelinsky, because the guy is uh, it's more like Zizi, you know, Zizi is the slang word in French for a dick. So uh, he's a real dick. And uh, how can a, a, a in-depth country like France, for example, uh, we, we have a, 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 one of the highest so-called debt, uh, artificial debt, again, from the private bankers, uh, of uh, thousands of, of uh, billions of euros can lend billion, billions of euros to another country <laughs> like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. It's really amazing, yeah. So you personally, Mark, do you think uh, the lights will go out this winter? Partially, yeah. Partially, they're gonna try. They're gonna adjust to see the reaction of people. Uh, it's like the uh, you know they play cat and mouse, and uh, they they try some things, but it doesn't work right away. They they you know they pull back a little bit. Uh, still with you know 
there's still the stupid virus threats and the next waves and and, and so forth and, and shots. And, I mean, they they they're building uh, you know uh, uh, vaccine factories and they've they've bought zillions of dosages and, and stuff doses and stuff. But you know they they pull back a little bit on this one. It's like the Bitterman chart, you know, coercion uh, torture uh, uh, chart by Amnesty and uh, Bitterman B- Bitterman uh, chart. Coercion chart, uh, different stages of how to torture the masses. You know, you give them a little. Uh, you know, you 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 uh, you, uh, make, you make the leech uh, longer a little bit, and then you 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 uh, you pull them back uh, shorter. You pull it back shorter, so you have less less civil liberties, and then you give some more, and then you you pull back again. It's it's real torture. So I think they're gonna try that. That's for sure. They, I mean, that's a promise, official mm. promise made by those those uh, monkeys at the government and uh, they're going to try they're going to try because they already mm. started they already started yeah i i'm not only expecting brownouts here and there um i Major expect blackout. a full blackout yeah. yeah that is what i'm it, it definitely here in germany mm. if i'm wrong i'm happy don't get me mm. yeah th- th- this is not a competition <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, that, right. Uh, it, it's not that I'm longing for that. Yeah, right. but um, the, yeah, I'm going to talk about the three days of rapture afterwards and and all the biblical symbolism behind it. You know, the three days of rapture. Could there be a staged uh, blackout event to uh, to harvest uh, uh, some souls by? I don't know by thousands at one at one point. I don't know. Uh, what I'm saying is that they've they've already staged this partial blackout uh, just two days ago or yesterday in Ukraine on the Zizinsky mm-hmm. side. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, because part of Ukraine was in in the dark in the blackout because Putin, uh, the Khazar, their Khazar uh, Zionist agent in in Russia, and and most of the West is like, wow, Putin is our savior. After they said no, that no, Trump, no, he's not. Trump is he's our not. savior. <laughs> I know it kills no. me. It, it's it really tells me. I mean, people tell me, well, yeah, I understand. Uh, yeah, Trump is a Satanist. He's a Luciferian. He's this, is that. And a- after each little sentence taken out of context with the QAnon, and Q and on propaganda online, oh, oh, he's back. He's coming back. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you promised me dates like for the last five years, and it never, nothing ever happened. It's worse. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, same yeah, with Putin. Exactly. They're all agents, agents yeah. by. And uh, the 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 last guest, well, the uh, the last French guest I had, uh, I told mentioned this information on my show that Putin during his uh, training uh, period when he was I don't know his thirty well before he became the KGB uh, one of the KGB chiefs, uh, he was uh, trained in London uh, by the MI6. So or, or the MI five, I think MI five. He had a, a big training class there. So why? What was he doing? Was he doing in London, getting trained by the MI five? Yeah. Or MI six. And not only that, you can see that even Russia is working on a digital ruble. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, these efforts are going on. Um, just a couple of weeks ago, Moscow introduced uh, pay with your face a biometrical mm-hmm. payment system that you can use even in buses and mm-hmm. the underground. So, and of course we have this Russia 2045 project, which is an Eldorado for any transhumanists. And um, mm-hmm. so, no, I I don't see Putin as a liberator. No, 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 no. And Russia and Putin has have never made as much money as for the past few months with mm-hmm. the sanctions against Russia, yeah. with the energy prices. They've made so much money. I think like four or five times what they made before prior to it. So they've they've gotten more, much more, much richer than than yeah. you know yeah. any in any time in history. So has yeah. Zizinski, their the actor there, a crisis actor in, in, in Ukraine. So Yeah, and, <laughs> and that is exactly why I have the impression I'm uh, living in an open-air asylum. If you have a toolbox of measures yeah, that you want to impose onto somebody, then you better make sure that it's working. Yes, mm-hmm. it is working, but the other way around. We are the ones. <laughs> 
<laughs> suffering and Russia in the meantime is getting richer and richer. So the moment you notice that, mm. yeah, that is the point where you have to backpedal and say, uh, no, wait a minute, guys, Th this is not really working, that this is not what we expected. So we mm. have to rethink this and um yeah get rid of the sanctions and do something else because this is yeah it, it's like suicide mm -hmm. it's a stage war like every other war mm -hmm. in history of mankind every war has been staged the tonkin events for example i mean it's mm -hmm. been classified that it was the americans that uh, staged that to uh to engage into war as same for Pearl Harbor. It hasn't been declassified, but we know it's a staged event as well. Pearl Harbor. Uh, what other events? Um, every event that triggered a, a war, a world war. Same thing with the Austrian uh, Hung Hungarian Empire and the first, uh, World War I. Uh, same thing when they, they, they killed, assassinated the, uh, what was his name? You remember the emperor? Um, uh, I lost I lost his name. Which but country? The, uh, the Austrian, uh, Austria and Hungary. Ferdinand. Yeah, Ferdinand the second, I think. Mm. Right for the, the the first world war, it was, it was it was done in order to trigger uh, trigger something. Same thing with the Titanic uh, yeah. uh, thing, where they killed uh, you know some some major elite guys that, that were against the creation of the Federal Reserve. And again, starting uh, World War One, same thing. And today, it's only a James Cameron movie, uh, in 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 the collective memory, uh, you know. In yeah. The, uh, so, <clears throat> it's it, everything is staged. I mean, this whole reality is staged. It's so fake. I mean, it's the fakery is so huge. I mean, I cannot prevent myself from seeing all those NPCs as actors. I mean, mm. I feel like I'm in the Truman Show every day, every time I. Yeah. I <laughs> No, really, yeah. and we're yeah, and, and that is that is not to say that uh, 2019 and before that was so much better. No, 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 no. 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 That no. was not a perfect system at all. That is actually what led us to this point. And um, mm. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, you know the insanity. Uh, I think it has to pop out now so that people. Some people will be shocked to their bones mm -hmm. by certain actions that are following now. It doesn't make any sense because it doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. For example, we still had, um, oh, they are still running, th uh, mm -hmm. three remaining nuclear power plants. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, my uh, favorite minister, Mr. Harbeck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he came up with the idea now yeah we only switch off one and the other two we keep them on standby <laughs> so in my book he effectively made the decision to cut them off all three because here's why a nuclear plant is a very complex machine mm -hmm. yeah it's it is not your lamp on the nightstand that you can switch on and off as you wish yeah mm -hmm. um it needs eight days to power it up and let's say there is really a shortage in the grid and mm -hmm. then you have the stupid idea yeah somewhere there is a, there's still a nuclear plant that is on a uh, standby and that version costs five hundred thousand euros each day wow yeah, yeah so that's huge. Mm. nothing makes sense here and i think the people who for the most part trusted their government and trusted their media they they, they I cannot imagine what what that feels like right now because they are stumbling from one uh, horror news to, <laughs> to the next. They see mm -hmm. the companies are going down here in Germany. Uh, one of the biggest uh, toilet paper producers has gone down. Um, uh, shoe manufacturer 
has gone down. We have had two steel plants in Europe, the biggest ones that have shut down the production. We have, yeah, bakeries going down every day now here uh, in, in Germany. So, yeah, and of course, people know this could be prevented if we opened <laughs> Nord Stream 2 mm -hmm. and nobody is thinking about it. And there comes the point where the United States plays a very, very dirty role in, in that whole scenario. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we will talk about that a little bit uh, in the second hour. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. think that is material that would... Uh, sit well with YouTube if we <laughs> analyze it here. Right. So <laughs> yeah, sure. not nothing makes sense anymore. I yeah. I don't know. Yeah, nothing makes sense uh, at all. And um is it um am I am I allowed to share a screen? Uh, yes, yeah, of course you can share the screen. Let's see if it works. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Share screen. Uh, what is it? Okay. okay, here it is. All right. Uh, what do you see here? Uh, mm -hmm. it's the Rothschild. Uh, Maya Amschel Rothschild, uh, the Gründer, the the Gründer des Bankhauses Rothschild. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, look at his logo. It is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. does it remind you of? Reminds yeah, you of that, pharmacia. that is the um, the same sign that we have with pharmacies, doctors, and so on and so forth. Right, 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 right. That's it. So I just want to show you that. So there's no coincidence. It's no. It, it's not. We're we're not coincidence theorists, uh, <laughs> like most of the people are. You know, they're the coincidence theorists. Uh, and we're not conspiracy theorists. We're realists. Uh, we're critical thinkers. We just we keep our eyes open. Uh, because we want to know what is happening to us and what we can do to change our our own world. Or, well, we don't have to change ourselves, uh, like the government is trying to tell us. You know, change yourself, obey us, and uh, your world won't be better. You'll just have social credit, uh, a, a social credit system. You have a, a permit, a license to be able to pay for your living, pay mm -hmm. to live. We are the only animal on this planet, well, with a conscience. Uh, I would imagine if we we are not NPCs to have to pay uh, to live to be able to live here and to breathe here. Yeah, <laughs> so, it's yeah. just crazy. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So that was it. Uh, the first hour, the public hour, and um, we will take a short break, and then we will see the patrons on the other side. Until next time, stay safe and sound. Bye bye.